what's going on YouTube, it's just so you know it's best. And Microsoft is finally, finally releasing a, a broad demo and a broad uh, beta of their Windows 7. Now Windows 7 is their next operating system that's going to be released here in the next two, one, two, or three years. You know, you never know. Um, but it's definitely probably coming in the next two years. And it's going to be the successor to Windows Vista and try to be, you know, what they really wanted to accomplish in Vista uh, was going to be put into this OS. So they, they're holding an event. It's called PDC, which is the event where they get a lot of developers together. And they don't do this every year. They only do it when they have something big to announce. Um, definitely Windows 7 is worthy of a, an event like this, I guess. Um, but what are they trying to accomplish in Windows 7? They want to make something that's faster, make sure the operating system is lighter, uh, make sure the UI is more friendly, which is the user interface, and make sure it's more compatible, and just make sure it's an overall experience is a lot better. And by looking at the demos, by looking at uh, most of the keynote, it definitely is that. They are um, not totally revamping. It's not a totally a whole new design. It's not too far from Vista, but it has a lot of features in there that does set it apart from Vista. Uh, the first thing you notice that I noticed while watching the video here is the boot up time is a lot faster. Um, the boot up time is a lot faster than booting up Windows Vista. And in this video, the computers aren't the same, so the, the specs of them might be different, but I, could, I think it gives a um, overall comparison about the the speed of the Windows 7 machine that's on the left booting up um, even though they even gave the Windows Vista machine a kind of a head start there um, but I think it's definitely a good sign that it's going to be booting up faster, it's going to be shutting down faster and also going to sleep faster um, and so when you're ready to get on your computer just be ready to go and that's what I like about it um, now the first thing you'll notice probably is the task bar. The task bar is now transparent um, the the anything you have in your taskbar now, and it's not going to be in a little rectangular, you know, type fashion that it is now. So that's going to be in, in little square boxes with the icons of the application on the box themselves. And so what this is, it's more organized. You can actually move them, reorganize your tabs in your taskbar a little bit, just like you would like in the tabs in Firefox or Safari. Organize them the way you want to. Um, and also, you can have a quick look where you can scroll over the. Uh, whatever button is on your, whatever tab is on your taskbar, and see any how many windows it has. So let's say if you have three uh, windows that are um, under the same application, you can see all three of them and choose whatever one you, whichever one you want to work with, or you can X them out and close them right there from the tab itself. So that's that's definitely looking forward to that. And um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Also, the windows, the way you actually uh, maximize, minimize the windows, is getting a little face uplift uh, himself. Um, let's say you have a, a window open and it's kind of just in the middle of the screen like you would just if you open up a regular window. But if you actually click on it and drag it all the way up to the top of the screen, it'll, it'll spread out to full screen. Um, and you drag it back down, it'll go back just to, you know, just the middle size, I guess. Uh, if you drag it to the right, it'll just take up the right side of the screen and then you can have another window open. You drag it to the left and now take up the left side of the screen. And so that'll make it easier if you're working with two, you know, say, uh, Microsoft Word documents, it'd be easier to cut and paste between them, um, like you're doing your reports for your history or whatever. Um, but you, you can cut and paste very easily between them or other applications that would be very useful for it. Two Internet Explorers or two Safaris open, you can, uh, you know, have both of them open, just take equal size of real estate on your screen, which is nice. It's something a little like that, but it definitely makes it a little more enjoyable to use it. Um, their yeah, Windows Live Search, the Windows Search is um, going to be getting revamped. It's going to be a lot smarter. It's going to be a little bit more organized um, and very easy to find what you're looking for um, than it is now in Windows Vista. And they said they're going to be approving that. But the big thing that I've got a kick out of was the home networking. Um, I forgot what they call it. But it's the home networking, and um, it's going to be a lot easier to bring a Windows 7 laptop, any Windows 7 laptop or desktop into your home network. Um, it's the only thing that people will need would be a pin. And I don't know how long the pin got to be, but you need, just need a pin code that you can be able to use. And then once you do that, you'll be automatically connected to any printer that they have, any hard drive, any other computers, desktop, or laptop, or anything uh, that's connected to the network you have access to. Um, now, of course, the, the, the head of the network can choose which ones which applications are, I mean, which um, devices they want to show that is discoverable on the network. But this is definitely going to make it a lot easier. Now, the demo they did on the keynote was just with Windows 7 computers. So I don't know how 
easier it is going to bring a Windows Vista or Windows XP or Windows 2000 for those of you out there um, on your network. But we'll see. Um, so definitely, this does make it a lot easier because trying to do this, do this now, can be a pain on Windows. But that's with any operating system. It can be a pain with the home networking. But if this pans out the way they're targeted to, um, it should be a breeze. Um, and actually, um, another thing is that uh, if you have to say you have a music file or a video file, and you don't really want to app open up Windows Media Player or QuickTime to actually play it, um, you can use a Quick Look feature that you also find in um, in Mac OS 10 Leopard, which you just use the space bar, and you can open up that application in Windows 7. Uh, I mean, open up that file in Windows 7 with a with a kind of a watered down version of Windows Media Player, and be able to view it that way very quickly and just instantly, instead of waiting to open up the whole application. Which is see, it's good to see that transition coming over to Windows. So I like that a lot. Um, the sidebar in Windows Vista was first introduced in Windows Vista, and this is a place where you can have some gadgets. Um, which are little, very little lightweight applications that you can use for to check stocks, check weather, to check to do a whole lot of things with them. Um, they are getting a little revamped. They're not going to be stuck to the sidebar anymore. You can be able to let them roam free on your desktop, kind of like the way I keep referring to Mac OS in Leopard. I, know, I can't help it, uh, but kind of like the way you have your widgets now in Leopard gadgets are going to be able to, to roam free just like that. Something that looks nice. Uh, definitely a little bit more um, user friendly with that too, um, but let's see. I'm look at my notes here. But that's pretty much the main things that that stuck out to me here. I've, just, I've been going over for about an hour and a half now, looking at the keynote, which is about three hours long. Uh, looked at most of that and just looking at some uh, different websites. And I'll put some links here in my sidebar, which you can go visit and take a look at yourself. But I'm very interested in Windows 7. Um, from what I see, I'm liking it a lot. Um, I think it's going to be a great OS. Um, look for well, a great OS, but I think it's a very, a very, very good OS. And if it continues on this path, um, it's definitely going to make up for any you know bad feedback they've been getting from Vista. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to installing this on my MacBook Pro via boot camp. Um, I'm not going to buy a PC just for this, but I'll install it on my computer. Um, but I think it is, if it's going to be faster, it's going to be faster, more secure, more lightweight. Um, I'm all for it. Now, one thing we don't know in the air, what's going to be the price? Are they going to offer five, six, seven different versions of it like they do now with Vista? We don't know yet. Um, hopefully, they'll just offer just one standardized version that you know everybody can use and everybody will be happy with um, at a very decent price. So we're looking forward to that. And also, how our business is going to you know take heed because Microsoft is telling all oh, you can upgrade to Vista now, um, but Windows Seven is relatively right around the corner in about one to two years, but. We'll see how businesses actually take to it. Are they going to stop buying Vista or are they just going to wait for Windows 7? Ah, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, this is about Soldier Knows Best. Go ahead and check out the links here and you can check and see and read some more information, see some more pictures on Windows 7. And leave a comment on the video. Let me know what you think about it. Are you impressed? What are you looking for? Um, or are you saddened by it or whatever? Uh, just leave a comment on the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, first time watching me, subscribe to my channel. And um, I definitely check out other videos. It's more Mac oriented, but um, I do videos just like this over anything in the world of tech. And um, I guess subscribe to me and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.